welcome this is one more topic in fluid mechanics in this video you will be saying about what is atmospheric pressure and how can we calculate it also absolute pressure gauge pressure and vacuum pressures let us now start with atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is caused by the weight of air molecules on the atmosphere per unit area we know that very well pressure is the force per unit area here the force is nothing but the weight of air molecules per unit area that is pressure atmospheric pressure the air molecules in atmosphere are always moving that motion causes accumulation of molecules which may exert some pressure on it so due to motion of air molecules at some places the air molecule in a single place small place the air molecules want to occupy it more in that portion the pressure will be developed but whatever atmospheric pressure we are talking about is at 15 degrees centigrade at mean sea level and that can be measured with the help of barometer this is the barometer and it is filled with the mercury initially it will have a glass tube which is open at one end and closed at one end initially it is completely filled with mercury and it is put it in reverse in mercury dish so after that some part of mercury will be dropped after that it will be stopped because of atmospheric pressure and now we have to calculate what is a we have to measure what is the height of the mercury level see here so that we can measure what is atmospheric pressure with this data now so actually we know the pressure formula is p is equal to rho g h so rho is density of mercury that is 13600 kg per meter cube 9.81 that is acceleration due to gravity h height is the height we got from the barometer that is 76 cm that is 0.76 meter so we got the value 1 lakh 1325 newton per meter square 1 newton per meter square is 1 pascal so i can write it now as 1 lakh 1325 pascal or 101.325 kilo pascal let us now see what are absolute gauge and vacuum pressures are so let me draw with the graph let me draw a line horizontal line which is showing absolute zero pressure absolute which is also known as absolute vacuum on the y axis that is nothing but i am going up the pressure the pressure is zero and the goes on developing it goes on increasing like this uh, after that with the green line i indicate atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure is not zero right it is having some value that may be this so i am now taking two points one is a above the atmospheric pressure and one point b which is below the atmospheric pressure now if i calculate the pressure pressure a from zero absolute zero line so that is known as absolute pressure whatever it may be if the pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure or less than atmospheric pressure as b if i take it from zero onwards from zero level that is known as absolute pressure so if i take calculate the same pressure from the atmospheric pressure that is known as gauge pressure and the, uh, if it is more than atmospheric pressure and some pressure which is known as b uh, for uh, b point the pressure is below the atmospheric pressure that type of pressure is known as vacuum pressure so it is very simple if i take any pressure from the absolute zero that is known as absolute pressure and if i take any pressure above the atmospheric pressure that is known as gauge pressure and the pressure which is below the atmospheric pressure is known as vacuum pressure see i have given you the definitions here let us have a look at this absolute pressure is the pressure measured from the absolute zero or absolute vacuum from zero i have taken from the blue lines you can see gauge pressure pressure measured above the atmospheric pressure taking atmospheric pressure as zero considering the atmospheric pressure as zero i have to measure pressure from this that is the gauge pressure vacuum pressure vacuum pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure so here from the atmospheric pressure it is a negative pressure up to b that is known as vacuum pressure b is below atmospheric pressure vacuum pressure a is a gauge pressure that's it that is only about absolute gauge and vacuum pressures and also atmospheric pressures i hope you understood this thank you